Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at um, uh, engraving uh, text into pretty much anything. Wood is a really good idea. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a text layer. Um, I'm assuming you know how to create text and you know how to do the basics. So this is an intermediate um, demonstration. So once you have your uh, text, I'm going to change the font on this, but um, let's just go. I've, I think I've lost uh, the sounds back. Um, I'm going to go with um, a different font. Maybe a thinner one will work better because, you know, engravings are not generally uh, thick as such. Uh, that's a nice one there. I like that font. Okay. Uh, pick a font and... Um, I'm just going to go a bit smaller as such, so it fits on one of these planks of wood. Okay, so we've got our text. Now, the the trick here is, uh, look, we're going to use a, a tool called um, Bump Map. Um, there's a few tricks we can do to make that the usage of that tool easier. The first thing I want to show you is... Um, to make the layer or the text layer the same size as the background layer that we want to um, that we want to kind of force that imprint on. So um, look, it's also a good idea to make the text black because we will use it later. So I'm just going to make it black first. And also, now I will, um, let's make the size of this layer, as I said, uh, the same size as the background, or the same size as the canvas size. And the way to do that is to say, layer to image size. Okay, now, uh, let me just go back so you can see. You can see the bounding box here, it's small, but after we make the change, the bounding box becomes the entire size of the image. Okay, that just helps with the usage of the bump um, map that we're going to use. So let's go to that now that uh, everything is prepared. Tools, map, and bump map. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Now the input layer, this here, auxiliary input, is going to be um the engraved text sorry let me take a step back here make sure you have the layer that we want to put the engraving on selected then we select the bump map and the input is going to be the text okay so i've made that change now i'm just going to switch off i'm going to remove visibility on the um engraved text so that we can see what's going on with with that okay so the trick is put your water level up a little bit and that will bring the engraved the more let me just zoom in on it so you can see it properly the more you go with that the more intensely it's going to do it and um, I normally just like to do a little bit and elevation will also impact um, the perceived depth and it's kind of good to just keep it somewhere um, not too high and not too low. This is the angle direction of the lighting you can see I can go in any direction. There is an illusion that this may look like it's popping out rather than um, being engraved. Stick to the lighting that is already apparent on on the image. So if you've got li a lighting direction that is apparent that's coming from the top left, then make sure that that um, is, let's say it's coming from the top left, then the lighting would be as such. Make the arrow point towards the, the lighting if, it's, if you want it to look engraved. So you can actually move that arrow around like that. Um, so I am somewhat happy with that. I'm going to click OK. And that's done that. 
So to help it look a little more engraved and a little more, uh, because it still can look like it's popping out rather than being in, uh, we want to, let's turn on that layer, but reduce the opacity. So it was a black text layer, so full opacity just makes it black. But if we go a little bit, and the other trick is not to just make it like that, but to change the mode of it to something like, let's go for a linear burn, because um, that will make it perhaps even an overlay. See how the overlay adds a like a burn effect to it? So if you go for overlay and um, maybe about there, that looks like it's um, text engraved into wood and you can do that on a whole bunch of things and you can do this it doesn't have to be with text it could be with logos it could be with anything i hope that helps you um, achieve those little bits and pieces any questions leave me a comment uh, happy to help thank you